Hey guys, welcome back. Um, excuse me. Uh, I have gone around and changed a few things in the village. If you notice any dirt around, this is because I've been placing a bunch of dirt everywhere. I'm trying to make things look balanced and whatever. Um, right here, I there were some stairs here that I raised up, or I removed and raised up the ground because it just kind of did this little dip down thing, like right here. <laughs> like even this side hadn't wasn't down; it was on this level, so I decided to fix that. Uh, it's going to take a little bit more work to fix these houses over here because they're kind of like, or well, this one specifically, because it's a little odd. And also, I think the the original owner of this house is dead because I came up and found the door missing. Uh, I think this one was fine. This one was miss. I saw this one was missing a door, but I believe um, I saw the villagers that the zombie was chasing when he did that because I, I ran into my house and slept, or into this house and slept. And, um, just trying to get it real quick before, uh, the zombies killed anybody. And then I came out and saw him chasing people around while he was on fire. Also, this house was missing a door, this house was missing a door, because I, I did go caving, uh, why is there grass in here? I did go uh, exploring a little bit more to get some more coal and stuff, and, um, we now have a good deal of resources. We've got 32 ink gold ingots there. Um, I've got all the coal on me, almost two stacks. A bunch of cobblestone, which I'm going to be using to build my house. Uh, get some more iron. Get some more eggs, seeds, flowers. I've been breaking a bunch of grass, so I've got a bunch of seeds. Uh, let's let's sleep real quick. Because we don't exactly want to be, uh... <laughs> we the villagers. Oh, uh, that's funny. Okay, um... Sorry if I sound a little quiet. My, like... I was I felt fine all morning, and then as soon as I decided to start recording, my nose just felt a little icky. Um, this house was missing a door when I came up. Uh, I think that was it. Oh, actually, one of these ones might be might have been missing a door. I think it was this one. I think I'm not really sure. <coughs> Most of the work that I've done on the road was over here, um, in this area here. Notice I was big and empty. I will put something here at some point, maybe like a fountain just because our house is going to be up there. Um, yeah, I raised this all up, and I raised up an area over here because it just dipped down, and there was an, a dip in here, too, that I also raised up. <coughs> and then I chopped off the top of this mountain hill thing. Uh, it wasn't a whole lot. It was just, like, this area right here, like, from here over to this spot. That was raised up one, but I cleared that off just so we could have a bigger space to put our house on. I do intend to have a second entrance down here somewhere, maybe a secret piston entrance, definitely a secret piston entrance, um, because you guys know I love to have those. Um, and I did upload that video showing how I make my redstone torch detector thing, so I'm going to be using that, uh, because that's quite fun for me to make as well as use. Um, this is where I intend to build the house, I put the doorway thing here, I, you know, blah blah blah. You guys know that I like to have subterranean houses, so I've decided to just leave this house sunken down one, so that the windows will be on this block. But I'm going to leave this um, this grass here. Uh, I mean, it might get taken out. I mean, it's not exactly like this is a big area. I might end up just building straight out to the edge, in which case I'll probably just remove the rest of it. But if it doesn't get that big, then uh, we'll have a little bit of grass to see out the window, just like, as if we're in a basement or something, which I think would be cool. Um, uh, there will be more underground por uh, portions of this house. This isn't going to be it. This is just uh, the, the starting place. <laughs> Most of it's going to be underground. This is just going to be the we're building this so that we have a little space to to put all our stuff and all that important stuff while we build the rest of the house. Because obviously if you don't have a house and know where to put all your stuff um, and a mine or anything, then it's going to be really difficult to build the rest of your house. So, yeah. See that? This can be the edge of this room. 
but this needs to go this way a little bit. Um, let's put that there. Back over here. We have that. this. Yeah, that's about how wide I want. Oh, this is, this is off. Why is this off? Oh, that's probably why, because it's, there's an odd number between them. Well, now there's an even number between them, but you know what I mean. Um, like it's either one or, well, I guess that is two diagonal. So, never mind. But that's about three blocks wide this way, because that's about 1.4 going this way. So, 1.4 and 1.4 is almost three. But, uh, okay, let's dig out this way. I'm kind of looking for a diagonal um, walkway here because I don't want to make, like, go out this way some and then turn this way and then turn this way just because that seems really annoying to me. I want to have a little tower, <coughs> excuse me, little tower over here so we can just have a little lookout area for the planes and everything. I think that'll be neat. Uh, I may not keep this cobblestone forever. Uh, it's probably just for now until I can get access to a lot of stone from a mine or something where I will then make stone bricks because you guys know that I like stone bricks. That's not what I meant to do, but it works. I'm gonna make this one three blocks wide. Nope. That doesn't work. That, that definitely does not work. <laughs> Um, man, I almost used up two iron shovels digging up all that dirt that I dug up today, but I've got a bunch of dirt now, so if I need to, if I need it, I'll have it for later, which is nice. Um, let's fill in this area. Let's, let's see, what should I talk about? Um, I did just buy Warlock Master of the Arcane. It's like a civilization game. I've heard. I've never played a civilization game. Um, actually, I don't know how much they how much they cost, but uh, Warlock Master of the Arcane is like a civilization game, but fantasy based instead of like real world kind of thing. Um, you know, this could do to have a secret staircase going down. That'd be neat. Just have a little thing where I place a torch, and then the ground just pulls down, and the staircase pops up. Yeah, I think we'll have to do that at some point. Um, just continue building this wall up to here. This is a really long hallway. I'll have to put something in it at least. Uh, there will be windows along the sides, so no need to worry about that. But, um, let's see. Let's put these here. I don't like, uh, when I've got diagonal blocks like this, I consider it a broken, uh, it doesn't count to me as one line. You know what I mean? Like, if you place glass panes on here, this one in the middle will, um... Or in this case, over here, these three wouldn't actually connect to the one's diagonal, or fences, either. And to me, that just makes it broken. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a continuous link of cobblestone. You know what I mean, guys? I don't know what I mean, so I don't know why you would. Uh, what, what could we put in this room? You could put some storage down in the ground. Um, maybe. That would be kind of neat, I think. To have just, like, little storage things on the side. And maybe up on the ceiling, too. Hmm. You know, we could make it so that there's a staircase up here, and have a... have it go up on a wall kind of thing, out to the tower and then just get into the tower that way, and then just have a secret, or well, maybe not necessarily secret, redstone thing that um, opens up the staircase so that we can um, just walk through and have like storage under here. I think that would be cool. Uh, maybe we should do that. I think we should do that. Of course, that's going to be a while until I can actually get the redstone and everything to do that, because I don't believe I have any redstone right now. 
Uh, I might. Do I? I don't remember. It's it's sorry. It's been a couple days since um I uploaded. There was Mother's Day, and I was out for the entire day, and then um uh the other days I was playing Warlock Master of the Arcade. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it Warlock for now because it's easier to say. Uh, but that's a great game. You should check it out. It's twenty bucks. Um, I mean, it's a little expensive, but I mean, for the game itself, I mean, I've already put like fourteen hours into it, so it's it's a pretty good deal for such a long, good game. You know. Uh, let's see. One, two, and then. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, hey, that's neat. I don't know how long that's been there for. I didn't know you could place blocks directly on the thing. Alright, there we go. There's our little tower area. Again, this place is just really long and thin. We should really have, like, a separate... Maybe we could put an elevator out here. <laughs> That'd be funny. But I don't think we have enough space for the wiring. Just so that we could walk up and walk into this little room here. And then take an elevator up to the... Up to here. Um, but, again, I don't think we have enough room for that. So. Yeah, because elevators usually work one-sided. Like, you walk in this side and go up and then turn around and come back out. Instead of going in here, going up, and then walking out this way. Because all the wiring has to be on one side. So. Yeah. Um. I mean, we could have it so that you walk into the mountain here and then come out onto this side and take an elevator up and come back out here which would be pretty cool but uh, I don't think that would that's feasible for us but that's alright we'll come up with some other neat stuff don't worry uh, let's see this is all good for some reason this corner right here just doesn't I don't like it let's try like this that is makes me feel a little bit better <laughs> but not entirely um, I don't know what it is that's making me feel iffy about all this here. Uh, we could always just have it come straight out instead of turning here. I think that's what we'll do. Um, let's see, what was I talking about? Uh, Warlock Master of the Akane, uh, right, just Warlock, is, it's a very good game. Um, it's very fun, the games last a very long time. I've only won, like, three or four games so far. Um... So, you know, it's, it's I can't say I'm very good at it, because I've been playing on... Like, I tried playing on normal. Uh, there's five difficulties. There's uh, easy or something. <laughs> um, casual, normal, difficult, and impossible, I think, are the the difficulties there. And I, I gotta say, normal is kind of a challenge for me. I mean, I've never really been particularly good at games like that. So, um, that's that's me. You know, not the game. Uh, it's it's definitely fun though, because you get all kinds of cool units. And, uh, where? Oh God, there's two of them. Where's the other one? He's gonna break the door. No! Get away from my villagers, man! Jeez, is he okay? I think the villagers fine. Yeah, the villagers doing just fine. Whew. All right, we really need to get some lights out here. <laughs> I really desperately need to fix this ground here. I mean, I also need to fix that. There needs to be a better way to do that than having to jump up like that. Yeah. So if you guys are just trying to decide whether or not to buy that game, it's a pretty good game. Uh, it's twenty bucks. I it wasn't on sale when. I bought it. I, I don't know if it is now. I mean, I, I'm really expecting it to to get on sale really quickly. Uh, what, what was he going after? Oh, I think he was trying to get in the house. I don't have a sword. Oopsies. Uh, but I think it's a really good game. It's definitely worth the 20 bucks. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, once I make these swords, I will sign off and see you guys next time. And we'll get that house finished, hopefully. <laughs> if not, then we'll finish it the next episode or the one after that. I don't know what I'm going to do with these uh, farms here. I may remove them entirely and then make a much more efficient, bigger, better farm in the general area. 
Just so the villagers aren't confused by the fact that their farm is now gone. Did I just hear a cow getting hurt? I thought I did, but I don't think there's any cows around here, so... Probably just me going crazy. Uh, anyway, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time, when we'll hopefully we'll finish up this house. Bye!